Hello friends of Classics and Company, this is the collab channel of Micah Cummins and myself Anne Novella. And we use this channel to organize our group reads. We have eight group reads throughout the year, so we did last year. And the first group read was uh, Moby Dick by Her Herman Melville. This is still going on till the middle of February and from uh, mid-February till the end of March we are going to read Middlemarch by George Eliot. George Eliot, uh, she was born as Mary Ann Evans. She was a journalist, a novelist, a diarist, uh, a translator, so she was very busy <laughs> uh, writing and uh, she published seven novels in her lifetime. Uh, the first that got a little bit of uh, buzz was A Mill on the Floss and then she had Silas Marner, Romola and then came uh, Felix Holt the Radical, Middlemarch and her last book was Daniel Deronda. Middlemarch is supposed to be her or is considered as her um, masterpiece, or her, her big oeuvre. She was considered as very important together with uh, Dickens and other, uh, Thomas Hardy for instance. Uh, she is a realist writer with a lot of uh, psychological insight, which was rare at the time. Um, there was not much, there weren't that many writers that gave a lot of uh, psychological insight at that time. Now, our VIP host is Kim of Middle of the Book March. She even changed her uh, channel name because she loves this book so much. For me, it is a first read. I'm really looking forward uh, to it because I really love realism. And uh, yeah, it's it's It'll, it's uh, going to be a blast. I, this is my smaller version. This is for on the train when I visit my dad. But I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh my God. This is the prompt. Dorothy Brooke is a beautiful and idealistic young woman set on filling her life with good deeds. She pursues the pompous Edward Casubon convinced that he embodies these principles and becomes trapped in an unhappy marriage. Then there is Tertius Lydgate, an anguished progressive whose determination to bring modern medicine to the provinces is muddied by unrequited love. They and a multitude of other brilliantly drawn characters reside in the town Middlemarch the background to George Eliot's incomparable portrait of Victorian life. I'm really, really looking forward to this. So yeah, Middlemarch, read with us. Join us on the Discord channel. I will put the link down below and let's have fun. Just have fun. Okay, thank you for watching and join us, please. Bye-bye.